Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, March 21st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have a beautiful painting here by Georges de la Tour. It's called The Penitent Magdalene. He painted it around 1638. Georges de la Tour was taken with the subject of Mary Magdalene and painted four pictures on this theme. There she is wearing the typical red, but only below the waist and white above. Below the waist, she holds a skull symbolizing death. Above the waist, she's looking towards the light, which is a candle reflected in a mirror. We can't see her face as she's turned towards the light and away from the death. It's a fascinating painting. She still seems somewhat torn, but drawing towards the light. St. Paul in the second letter to the church in Corinth talks a lot about veils and mirrors today. He talks about how Moses, when he came down from the mountain after having encountered God, his face was so bright, but he put a veil over it to protect the people. He says, in Christ, the veil is taken away. In Christ, we don't have to be afraid to see the light in each other, to see the reflection of the glory of God in each other. We don't have to hide anymore. That if we follow Jesus, we're being transformed day by day, slowly by slowly into Christ's likeness. So we don't have to look away. We don't have to hide or veil our light, but show our light to the world. I think Paul is trying to convince this church that they just need to be true to who God has made them and not be ashamed, not be afraid. Show their giftedness, show their joy and their glory that they've found in Christ. And you too today, shine your light brightly. Don't hide behind masks or veils or busyness. Let it shine because God is shining through you into the world and we need your light. Let us pray. O oh, Holy One, in each of us, just like this Mary Magdalene, we're pulled. We're pulled to the darkness, to hide, to be ashamed, to dislike ourselves. And we're pulled towards the light, to love and to share and to shine our lights. Help us not to be afraid to be ourselves to be unveiled before others, sharing our vulnerabilities, our inadequacies, but also our joys and thanksgiving. Help us to be honest today and in all things to give thanks to you. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and those who are dying and those who mourn, those who suffer in any way, I will pause and let you say aloud the names of those that you want to pray for this morning. Grant us grace, Lord Christ to be your light in this world. Bring peace to this violent and war-torn planet, especially to the most troubled areas of the world, Sudan, Congo, the Middle East, Israel, Palestine, Ukraine. Give us wisdom to care for this earth for our own bodies and for one another. 
All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, who showed us how to live fully as humans and to bring others towards your light. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.